the president visiting uh, visiting with excitement in the conservative party areas of California. We're seeing this amid rising tensions between state and federal officials. The four day trip also taking the president to Arizona, Nevada and Colorado, stealing some thunder from upcoming Democratic primaries. Blake Berman from the Fox Business Network kicking off our 10 o'clock hour on the East Coast this morning live at the White House. Hey, Blake. Good morning. Hi there, Sandra. Ed, good morning to you both. We'll see President Trump leave the White House here a couple hours from now as he is set to head out west to visit four states there over the next four days, starting off with California today. There, the president will host a couple different fundraisers, one in Beverly Hills, another one out in Rancho Mirage, uh, hosted by the multi-billionaire many, many, many times over, the CEO of Oracle, Larry Ellison. Later today, though, the president will be attending a meeting as it relates to the planning of the 2028 Olympics that are set to be coming back to the U.S. to Los Angeles. The Olympics coming back to the U.S., something that the president likes to take credit for. I am, and I was responsible for getting the Olympics. The Olympics is coming to Los Angeles, and I was called by the mayor, and he said, could you do us a favor when I was president-elect? And he said, could you do us? And I worked very hard, and we got the Olympics, and uh, we have the World Cup coming into the United States. And now, President Trump's California trip also puts him in the center of a state he often takes issue with, whether it be the homelessness crisis, sanctuary cities, or fuel standards. But he will also highlight the water access problems of concerns to the ag community when he heads to Bakersfield tomorrow. After that, the president will also have rallies in Arizona and Colorado. His trip, though, ends in Nevada, where he will likely tout criminal justice reform at a graduation ceremony there for prisoners. Final event, Friday night, is the president will try to take some of the focus off of Democrats as he will hold a campaign rally on the eve of the Democratic caucuses. This morning, the president weighing in with his thoughts on the state of the Democratic race as Michael Bloomberg surges in the polls and qualifies for his first debate. The president tweeting a little while ago, quote, the crooked DNC is working overtime to take the Democrat nomination away from Bernie again. Watch what happens to the superdelegates in round two a rigged convention. So that the uh, prediction from the president this morning. He'll leave uh, the White House here a couple hours from now. Ed, Sandra, All right. see you. Blake Berman, thank you. Thank you.